day six of your 2022 OK Bet Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League regular season takes us to the Inares Center in uh, Antipolo Rizal, ang bahay ng uh, Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers. He will be playing later on, but the spotlight for our first game falling on uh, the Caloocan Victory Liner and uh, the Sambuanga Family's brand Sardines. That's our first game at 7 p.m. and mamaya po. The Sarangani Marlins OK Bet battling the Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers. Good evening, uh, basketball fans. Duff to pass together with Coach Nick Velasco. And another doubleheader on a Saturday night. Coach Nick, what more can you ask for? So, hey, basketball action once basketball again. Basketball is back, and it's great. So this is going to be very exciting. It's nice to be back in Antipolo. Well, he spent a lot of time here playing uh, uh, during uh, his days in the PBA. So uh, welcome back, uh, Nick. And of course, uh, the third member of our panel, Ms. Mika Abisamis. Welcome back, Mika. You know, it's always a pleasure to play here in an Iris Center in Antipolo. You'll feel the cool breeze. You'll feel like you're out of town at the same time. You'll feel like you're in the city. But besides that, it has been two weeks of basketball action for the MPBL. We have been going out of town. Natututo na ako ng mga bagong dialect. And speaking of new, we have two teams today who are going to play for the first time. So it's just going to be genuine basketball entertainment. Sidel, Coach Nick. Yeah, thank you, Mika. Mabilis na matutod. I hope uh, Coach Nick will be able to uh, do what you've been doing. Uh, Mika, that uh, you know, learning some new language. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. uh, so, yeah. I have some Tagalog ready for today. So, yeah. uh, everybody enjoy. Oh, definitely. Pa hindi naman ako may rapat sa kaka English. <laughs> dahan dahan lang. Dahan dahan lang. <laughs> of course, our game at hand: Kaloocan Victory Liner and uh, the Sambuanga Family's Brand Sardines. Ang Kaloocan has been uh, a team that. Uh, it's been here since the start of the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Season 1 pa yan. One of our pioneering teams, Nick. And of course, eto Sambuanga Family's Brand Sardines. Part of our expansion over the years. But if you see the lineup, you'd see Sambuanga coming up with a very strong lineup. Ang Kaloka naman, they've been relying on their homegrown talents. And of course, meron din na mainstay ng MPBL. That's uh, Ryusei Koga on your screens. And the kanilang lineup, Achi Inigo, of course. I'm sure you're, you're quite familiar with some of these guys here. Yes, I know Achi very well. Um, you know, they, he's a veteran. And, and like what we've seen in the past, these young developing teams, they surprise me. They, they surprise people. No, of course, no, you, the first time you, you covered a game, nakita mo, you, you, you saw a surprising Marikina team winning and also etong uh, 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 Makati. And uh, you've been impressed so far by what you've seen. Putahan naman natin itong Zamboanga side. Uh, really some proven uh, winners and talents on this team but you know all a matter of, of putting this team together coach Vicky Casciano has a tough task in his hands but I think with I think these are excellent role players put together in this team I'm excited to see Chito Jaime play I, I played against him and I've seen him in the PBA for many years uh, also I want to see these twins I've been hearing a lot about the Marcelino twins and I want to see what they got today. Well, Mark JC and JV Marcelino, of course, were stars from uh, Lyceum University. And they were part of that Lyceum team that reached the finals in the NCAA twice. And uh, they lost to San Beda also twice. Pero uh, these two, uh, the Marcelino twins, have made their mark and they're ready to lead Etong uh, Sambuanga family's brand sardines to glory here. And uh, yeah, you know, we'll talk more about that lineup as uh, the green progressed. But uh, now, magsisimula na ang ating laban, Kaloocan and Zamboanga, both teams making their debut in uh, OK Bet MPBL regular season. And uh, of course, etong uh, Kaloocan has only been to the playoffs once in their first three seasons in the league. Etong Zamboanga naman. They've been in the playoffs twice, and uh, abangan natin what this version of Sambuanga, itong uh, version ng team na to, how how deep they can go this season. But you know, I, I I see with the with the way this roster has been constructed, Nick, they are serious about their title ambitions. Well, they have height, they have guards, they have wings. Uh, I'm sure they have some really good shooters as well. It looks like they they put a lot of effort into making this team complete. Yeah. Of course, Sambuanga starting with Irvin Palencia, Chino Mosqueda, Jamo Aguilos, Japs Bautista, and Andy Santos. Para naman sa Kaloocan, it's Achi Inigo, Damian Lasco, Rodney Fuentes, 
Joseph Peña Redondo and uh, Jomar Santos, the former Quezon City gunner. And uh, uh, just about ready for tip off here. Uh, Tainares Center in Antipolo. So the Marcelino twins, they're products of Coach Topek's yeah. program in Lyceum. Yeah, they, they actually, you know, they, they, they hopped from Adamson as well. No? Galing din sila sa Adamson, but really found a home in the last uh, two, three seasons in Lyceum, uh, representing uh, the Pirates in the NCAA. So, uh, Chino Mosqued, of course, from uh, National University. Irvin Palencia played for Basilan in uh, in season three. So some, you know, mix and match, really. And uh, let na natin how this team uh, you know, fares. Because, you, you, you know, you know, Coach Nick, it, it's a problem sometimes when you build a star-studded roster and, you know, nobody's really, you know, willing to give up the ball or, you know, Sure, right. but I think the way this team, ha, uh, Zamboanga, as we um, are underway here, our referees, uh, John Santiago, Edmar Avis, and Robin uh, Manandik. That's a turnover to start the game for Kaluoka. And, and we've been, you know, you said that there was a lot of thought in, in putting together a roster like this. When you have, like, you know, Adi Santos and Jamie Gilos, they, they came from a championship team in Batangas, but these are you know, players willing to work for the good of the team as uh, Aguila scores the first basket. I'm excited to watch Aguilas, Aguilas today. He had a nice screen right there and rolled to the basket for the finish. You know, I'm a fan of the big man. Yeah. And Aguilas has, uh, is a mainstay here. As, uh, as a miss from Peña Redondo, Jomar Santos picks it up. Balik sila kay Jomar, corner three, pasok yan, early. Three para kay uh, Jomar Santos. Nice shot by Jomar Santos there in the corner. Uh, as a shooter, you want to hit your first couple of shots. If you miss the first two, you might be in for a long night. So he started it out right. Here's Japs Bautista on the move. Nabitawa ni Adi Santos. Nakuha ni Damian Lasco. Lasco on the run. Jomar Santos could not finish. And Jamo Iguilos grabs the rebound. Palencia. Now with Japs Bautista. Balik muna kay Irvin. Irvin attacks. Hangs in the air. Nabitawa. So let's see if these two teams settle in here. There's turnover after turnover to start the game. A little helter skelter. It's the second turnover para sa Kaluokan. So I think they, uh, right here you see he's got a nice corner three. Look at the arc that he put on that yeah. ball. Kind of Stephen Curry ish. Speaking of uh, Stephen Curry, panalo sila kanina. Oh yes, that two, was a great two game. 2-0. Bautista in and out on the three. The stick back, galing kay Adi Santos. Adi Santos is doing work down there in the paint. You see him get early position for that offensive rebound. Well, you know, the, the good thing about this Sambuanga team is that they, they do have quality. They do have depth as well. No, Pag pinahinga nila si Adi Santos, as uh, hindi niya natapos yung fast break niyon. Igilos and Santos. They have Chris Dumapig, another hard worker, and um, Mon Mabayo. Yeah, it looks like Kala Okan is going to have to get the ball to Achi and let him run the show. I haven't seen him bring the ball up too much lately in the first few minutes, and there's been a lot of turnovers. Yeah, they got to organize this Let's see if uh, attack. Achi can use his veteran savvy here and, and get them uh, under control. Let's go to Mika for uh, an update. Coach Vic Ikashano plans to run, focus on offense, use their guards, and prove that they are the bigger team. While Kaloocan, having just practiced for a week or two, will try to show a decent defense with what they call the security agency, having a deep bench of guards. Sabi ni Coach Rene Baina, we didn't go up to Antipolo para lang gumive up. Sedelf, Coach Nick. Maraming salamat, uh, Mika. And uh, we didn't go to Antipolo also not to get a quality game. Uh, Oh, no, oh. I think we're in for a dogfight here. <laughs> so much like uh, Coach Rene Baina, he has some expectations. Kami rin, ni Coach Nick. Here's Damian Lasco on the move. Natapik ni Irvin Palencia. Here's Irvin Palencia for two. Nice layup by Palencia. He leaked out there. 
Hello, Oakland's going to have to figure out how to solve the safety situation. They don't have a guard back to stop these fast breaks. Nancy Inigo. They go to Lasco. Here's the lefty making the move. Oh, took an extra step. <laughs> <laughs> he knocks down the jumper. He took a, I don't know if you call that a Euro step or a traveling without passport. But it wasn't called, so no violation there. 65 ang ating score lamang ang Zamboanga. Six minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first. Here's Jamo. Free flow line jumper is good. I love to see when a big man could step out and shoot that 15 to 18 foot jump shot. That's it really adds another dimension to his game. That's four points for Nakai Jamo and Gilos. And now they can, they'll respect his uh, outside shot the next time down the floor. You know, Mosqueda, Pinasa, Kayachi Inigo. Here's Peña Redondo. Umatake, and he scores. Nice lay in by Peña Redondo. You've seen a few turnovers there. They actually passed to the wrong team about three times in a row. Joseph Peña Redondo. He got the in and out dribble. He's going right at the shot blocker, Santos. So it's one thing about a shot blocker, you gotta go right at their chest. Eight to seven after the strong finish. Para kay Peña Redondo, Lamang ang Sambuanga. Five minutes and 49 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Back inside the entire center in uh, Antipolo. Double header on the Saturday night. First game, ang, uh, laban ng uh, Zamboanga and uh, Kaloocan. Zamboanga with an 8 to 7 lead against Kaloocan. Here's Mosqueda, Lumapet, jumper. He will get the, draw, the roll. Nice to see that these Antipolo hoops are still soft. No, actually, that's a joke. They're really stiff here, the hoops, ever since the beginning of this gym. And uh, if you hit the rim at all, it's going to bounce out. Peña Redondo, tough shot. Rebound. Naloocan with another crack. That was Rodney Fuentes. Inigo from the corner. No. And he tracks down his old miss. So Mbonga's going to have to start boxing out here. Achi. They go to Leo Esguera. It's another shot from Inigo. It's a rebound goes to Irvin Palencia. So, so far, Kalookan has zero points in the paint. They've shot a lot of jump shots, and they missed a, a couple of layups. As you see here, Zamboanga is getting into the lane, and they're finishing. That's their eighth point in the, in the paint so far. Strong move from Chino Mosqueda. As Damian Lasco knocks it down. Nice. Damian Lasco has a nice, smooth release. You see the rotation on that ball and the splash in. 10 to 12 ang ating talaan. Four minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the first period. Here's Mosqueda. Back-to-back -back baskets for him. Here's Bautista, lumapit. And nag-alangan silang dalawa ni Adi Santos. That's a turnover. And here come the twins. JC and JV Marcelino. Right here, you see this is two of those points in the paint that we were talking about earlier. They're attacking the basket. Nice little finger roll. And he gets the, the soft roll from the rim again. Lucy Koga also in the ball game para sa Kaloocan. Three-point shooting. Kaloocan, two of four so far. Koga, down low they go. Esguera, tough shot again. Fuentes with a offensive rebound. Nice well rebound defended. from Fuentes. I'd like to see him gather himself and go up strong. He was a little off balance when he shot that layup. 
Marcelino, that's JV, missing on the corner three. See, my mindset there when the ball rolls out of bounds as a big man is he missed an opportunity for a rebound. I never let the ball roll out of bounds. And I teach my big men to any loose ball, you go get it. And Chris Dumapig and Chito Jaime. We talk about the depth of uh, Zamboanga, then uh, here it is. Uh, Coach Nick. Nice to see Chito Jaime still getting it done out there. He's, he's in fantastic shape as well. Damian Lasco. Marcelino on Nakabantay. Taken away by Zamboanga. Jaime. Here's Chito with the steal. Here's JC. JV is open. Too open. A little confusion on Kalaoka's defense there. They left it wide open. Open a drive by JC. And that's his first basket in the MPBL. I wonder if he's going to remember that layup for the rest of his career. Yeah, that's... This is, I think, where, where Zamboanga can do some damage. Right here you see Zamboanga getting the loose ball to the left-handed finish. That's a strong, uh, strong arm. Right. Jose Koga. Marcelino on nakabantay. will use the pick from uh, Bangoyan. Bangoya, Three-pointer doesn't work. Uh, look at that rebound. That's Pomia uh, with a strong rebound. And Jeff Pomia. First time in the ball game as well. Another with Chris Domapic. Marcelino. Nilabas kay Chito Jaime. The extra pass. Sa ilalim. And uh, foul. Nice extra pass from Chito Jaime to the corner. And you can see here, he didn't settle for the three-pointer. He attacked the defense. He's able to get two, two free throws out of it. So JV Marcelino is at the line. In case you're, you're wondering, uh, to avoid confusion, uh, Coach Nick, JV is actually the one shooting right-handed. Right. JC is the one left-handed. So JC is Caluete. Yeah. Some uh, Tagalog uh, showing us the flaunting his Tagalog uh, Filipino uh, vocabulary I'm gonna there. I'm going to flaunt some more. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to get an and one. Here's Koga. Three ball, too strong. Rebound, Jeff Pormia. Ahead to JC. In the hand up to JV. Medyo masikit ang uh, fast break na yun. Labas muna kay Komia. Offensive foul. Oh, wow. Legal, legal pick kay uh, Chris Dumapik. It's nice to see Chito Jaime out here. You, you see, you always see the difference in a veteran player. The, decision make, the, the decisions that they make. Well, Komia yeah. went on the attack na hindi pa nakapuesto si Dumapik. Uh, right, he didn't have the speed set there. And uh, the referees made a good call. A little full court press here from Zamboanga. Corner three pointer. Voila. Picks up his own miss. Ailalim. Another miss. Agawan sa bola. And. Miss Guerra with the missed layup right there. Missed opportunity. I know he's going to regret that one. Let's see if he can bounce back and get one in. Now, Miss Guerra has been showing a lot of effort. One of the homegrown players ng uh, Kaloocan. That's one thing I love about the MPVL is you get to see some, some diamond and rough players, uh, you know, and they really get a chance to shine. Marcelino, crossover, jumper. Ooh. Walang awa yung ring, pero dalawang free throws para kay uh, JC Marcelino. Those stiff Inarius rims right there. You touch the rim. It's coming out. I'm telling you, I used to miss so many layups in this building. Right here, he had the nice crossover and a, a really aggressive closeout there by Isguera. Unfortunately, just a little tad too aggressive. I like the energy, though. 
Minute and 36 remaining, Zamboanga with a five point lead. Marcelino, too strong on the second. Here's Jose Koga, nagmamadali for Kalookan. Koga runs into trouble. The inside points, Zamboanga with 10. Here's Esguera against Domapig. Nice move. Could not finish. Tapika ng bola. Jaime diving for that loose ball. There's a rule on loose balls. First one to the floor gets the ball. You see Chico Jaime right there getting it. And Marcelino draws the foul on the after that acrobatic shot. Galinke Cormia. Points in the paint have been the story so far, and you see everything that Zambanga's getting is pretty much at the rim. Kalo Okan's going to have to find a solution for that, and they have to start finishing their points in the paint on the other side. Here's J.D. Marcelino. First free throw is good. So you have Kaliweta for the lefties. What do you have for the rights? Hindi ko alam. Kanan. Kanan. Kanan lang. Kanan lang. It's Guerra. Ahead to Garciano. Puerto. Too strong on the three. Marcelino. Labas kay Chito Jaime. Corner three. In and out. Puerto with the rebound. And that's uh, Raymark Matias drawing the foul. Nice okay. take by Matias there. Jaime had no choice but to foul him, or else he's just going to give up two points. Well, Raymark Matias played for Quezon City in uh, our first season. And I thought he, he was one of the more talented players ng uh, team na yon, but you know, hardly had uh, the playing time na para may pakita yung uh, kanyang uh, potential. Well, he's got the number one. Usually when a player has number one, they think they're pretty good. So yeah, true. I think his confidence level is, is high enough. Matias, one for two. And uh, one of uh, my favorite players actually wears a number one jersey, Penny Hardaway. So oh, you're a Penny fan. Uh, yeah. Marcelino. Pasok Andres. JC Marcelino. Marcelino. He's the Caliwete with the three-pointer. Got six points now. You see Marcelino. I can see that both teams have actually picked up the intensity on defense. Uh, Kalaokan is picking up full court and so is Zamboanga. And 20 to 11, that's a nine point advantage already for Zamboanga. 28 seconds remaining in the first period. Here's Matias to inbound. Koga. Peña Redondo for three. Mac rims it. Komia na una na. You see uh, JV Marcelino. So the Marcelino twins doing some damage here. They're leaking to 11. out. They keep leaking out. Anytime you take a three pointer, which Kaloka is taking quite a few. Long shots mean long rebounds. Yeah, JV Marcelino, some brotherly love there. 24 11, and they've combined for 12 points in uh, the first quarter. 12 of the 24 of the Zambu of Zamboanga coming courtesy of the Marcelino Twins. Jemo Aguilos, new team, same mission. You see here, they leak out every time, and a lot of times you'll see three Kalaokan players behind the ball. They got to figure out a way to get all five into the paint so they can stop these fast breaks. And Damon Lasco got away with a the travel there, but sinks that tough jumper nonetheless. JC Marcelino, what a way to announce his entry in the MPBL. Eight points para sa kanya, 24 to 11. Lamang ang Zamboanga at the end of one.
back at the Inara Center here in Antipolo, I'm Mika Abisamis, and let's talk about the Marcelina Twins. JC the left-handed and JV the right-handed. Apparently, they rarely play separately. Even the coaches think that they play better together on the court. Kaya tinanong ko sila, kahit ba off the court, eh ganito kayo ka-close. Sabi nitong si JC, ganun nga sana, kaya lang nag-asawa itong si JV. Anyway, they are expected to help in the quick pace of Zamboanga. Sidelf, Coach Nick? Thank you, Mika. And uh, you know, just what happens when you get married. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of things happen when you get married. Uh, it changes the whole dynamic of your life. <laughs> it looks like that. It's a great thing. I love married life, by the way. Same here. <laughs> we want to eat dinner tonight. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, JV and JC Marcelino. Which one is married? Uh, I think it's uh, JV. JV, okay. Tanan lang. Yeah. And shooting by Sambuanga. The sizzling 10 of 16, 4 of 19 naman for Kalookan. Kalookan has shot 2 of 11 from the 3. And Zambuanga has only attempted 3 threes and they hit one. So an adjustment there is needed for Kalookan for sure. They've got to get into the paint. It's actually Inigo. Gets the pick from Zomar Santos. Inigo against uh, Jaime. Likes this matchup. Inigo high arcing three. I don't mind Inigo shooting that shot. He's a shooter for sure. But long shots mean long rebounds. And, and that's showing right here in the stats with all the fast break points of Zamboanga. 24 to 11 ng ating score. Early stages ng ating second quarter. JC Marcelino. Binigay kay Dumape. Here's Komia. Komia, baba kay Jaime. Jaime inside, he draws the foul on Jomar Santos. Kalookan's gonna have to solve this points in the paint problem they have with Zamboanga. They're, they're pretty much getting whatever they want in there. And two free throws para kay uh, Chito Jaime. Chito Jaime has played for Bataan, uh, Muntinlupa here in the NPBL. And now representing Zamboanga under Coach Vic Icasiano. Uh, Coach Vic, of course, coached uh, Bacolod in uh, Season 3. Look at that rebound from JC. Komia, another board. Lila na finish. That's Dumapig, rather. I like how crafts the boards like that. He's got some serious hops. Tapik ni uh, Dumapik. 12 bench points for Zamboanga. Now low they go. Dumapik spins. Not get it to drop. Here's Jomar Santos leading the break. Bagsaksi Jaime. Loose ball. Nabi. Matias fires. Nope. So another missed three. Well, rebound by... Inigo, but they gotta another get back. turnover. And the play broken up by Ache Inigo. I like the aggressiveness of Jomar Santos. Uh, he's got a big body, so when he goes in there on a drive, he's, he's, people are bouncing off of him. He just has to finish those layups. Another substitution here para kay uh, Coach Vic Icasiano, and he's changing four players except Chito Jaime, so John Mahari. Mon Mabayo, Choi Ignacio, and uh, Cyrus Stabi are in the ball game. And, and, and mind you, Nick, these are all, <laughs> these players can start for any other team as well. And they are in the third unit of uh, Coach Vic Icasiano. I like what Coach Vic is doing here with the four man subbing and leaving the veteran Chito Jaime in the game. Offline on that three ball, Mon Mabayo doesn't usually take those shots. The coach Vicky Cassiano calling for a ceasefire. Eight minutes and 11 seconds remaining. 14 point lead for Sambuanga.
Babalik ang OK Bet 2022 MPBL regular season here at the Inares Center in Antipolo Rizal. Magandang gabi po sa Jeff Tupas kasama si uh, Coach Nick Velasco. We are live on the MPBL Facebook page. Zamboanga with a commanding 25 to 11 lead against Kaloocan victory liner. Down low they go. Peña Redondo forced that one. Another stop for Zamboanga. Here's Cyrus Tavi. 11 turnovers for Kaloocan. Jumper from Ignacio doesn't drop. Kaloocan's gonna have to start getting something done inside. They have Fuentes. They have Esguera. And uh, both of them have zero points right now. Peña Redondo, Labas kay Inigo. Ignacio right in front of him. And uh, Jomar Santos able to get positioning It's a nice seal. Nice seal by Jomar Santos there. Unfortunately, the entry pass didn't make it. Achi Inigo can to shoot. Peña Redondo trying to escape the D. Lost it. Inigo intercepting that pass and the, the foul going against Zamboanga. Jomar Santos will go to the line for two free throws. It's a good aggressive move by Jomar Santos. Luckily, uh, Achi was able to get that steal and drop it to him. Omar Santos at the line. And as we mentioned, Jomar played for uh, Quezon City in the, in the first season, was a key contributor on the, for the, on the playoff run of QC, QC Capitals. Five points, Lasco with a stick back. Nice offensive rebound put back by Lasco. That's wow. Lasco's seventh point so far, so he's starting to get something established inside. Twenty-five to fourteen, ang ating uh, talaan. Dito, six fifty-nine remaining. Tabi, Cyrus Tabi, Kaluokan with the zone now. Ignacio, Adi Santos, Tabi. So down low to Mabayo. Mahari Nakabuelo lost it. Lasco recovers. Lasco will attack. Lasco with a finish. Nice attack with the finish right there by Lasco. You see, he switched it up to his left hand last minute. Nine points for Damian Lasco, and it's a nine point lead for Zamboanga. Cyrus Tabi. Mabayo. Zamboanga trying to solve this zone. Ignacio will fire. Too strong. Rebound. Jomar Santos. Another stop for Kaluoka. Nice Ant decision by Coach Rene to switch to his zone there. You see Zamboanga is having a little bit of trouble here. They're, they're a little hesitant to shoot the three. Mahari with a push shot. No. Gets his own miss. Labaskay Ignacio. Here's Tabi. Cyrus Tabi. Lumapit, may sumabit sa jump shot na yun. That's unfortunate there. You don't want to foul the jump shooter. Just challenge it, get a hand in his face, and box out. And here's the finish from Damian Lasco. I thought he got away with a double dribble there. Very athletic. You see that Euro step, then he switched it to his left and, and figure rolled it right in. Five minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first half. Cyrus Tabi. First point, Cyrus Tabi. Lead is back up to 10. Two for two, para kay Cyrus. And palitan ulit ng tao dito, para kay Coach Rene. Pahinga muna si uh, Rodney Fuentes. And uh, pinasok si uh, Junmark Silvares. 
Esponga in trouble. Esguera. Got to get it up. That's an eight second violation. Where were you see Koga's teammates there? Yeah, they were down in the corners too deep. Uh, he didn't have his eyes up for a little bit there, and he missed his teammates. Good pressure defense by Zamboanga. 27 to 16. Zamboanga with a chance to extend this lead. Still a zone for Kalookan. Japs Bautista. Intercepted by Kalookan. Lasco is away, and he's in double digits with Lasco 11 points. Lasco is bringing them back inch by inch. I like his energy here. Nice finish. 27 to 18. Zimbwanga is a little hesitant shooting these threes. Let's see if they can. There you go. And Japs Bautista answering the call for right the three. Time. When you go zone, you got to have a zone buster. Someone that can sit in the corner on the wing and knock it down. And Lasco able to escape the defense. Peña Redondo for three. No. Tabi leading the break. Back out to Ignacio. Ignacio attacks. Nahanap si Tabi. Tabi swings it over to Jabs Bautista. Short on the three, and Peña Redondo collects the rebound. And a question of foul. Bautista almost had back to back threes there. And Peña Redondo, extra effort on the defensive end. Pahinga muna siya. Like it's Jogi Laude coming in for uh, Coach Rene Baena. That's the first time we're seeing him in the ball game. Former Lyceum Pirate as well. Kaluokan with 10 fast break points compared to Sambuanga's six. I like the pressure defense full court from Zambuanga here, and it's really disrupting Kaluokan. You know, this is the specialty of uh, JB and JC Marcelino. They, they, they trigger an anchor that that full court press to Tonsambuanga. The key is disruption. If you can disrupt every pass, you challenge every shot, you challenge everything. JV free from the corner. Pasakan. Nice. Just like that, it's a 15 point lead for Zambuanga. JC to JV. The Marcelino connection here working wonders. But it's Zambuanga family's brand sardines. Really nice shot there from the corner, all net. And uh, you can see that these twins know how to play together. 33 to 18. Four minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the second period. We'll be right back. inside the United Center in Antipolo, JC Marcelino and JV Marcelino making their debut para sa Zamboanga family's Grand Sardines and so far what do you think about their performance uh, Nick Velasco? I think Kalaokan is, is starting to catch a little bit of a rhythm, they're still down um, if they can solve the fast breaks and the points in the paint of Zamboanga Stay in this zone, make them miss more threes. They have a chance to catch up before halftime. 33 to 18. Koga na hirapan magbaba ng bola. Damian Lasco, labas muna kay Koga. 12 seconds to work with. Lasco. Five seconds. Inside they go. It's uh, Leo Esguera once again drawing the foul on Mon Mabayo. That's part of the game that they've been lacking so far in this first half uh, is getting the ball into the post and putting pressure on the interior defense of Zamboanga. Jemo Aguilos returns. So Zamboanga is going to counter that and put in one of their best defenders, Aguilos.
Guerra. Labas muna kay Koga, 12 seconds in the shot clock, under four minutes remaining. Here in the first half, here's Koga, five seconds. Koga high arcing three, no. Koga is not shy about shooting that three-pointer. Absolutely. Here's Marcelino, JB, Adi Santos sa ilalim, extra pass, Iguilos. Wonderful defense there from uh, Kalookan. Aguilos has to gather himself, take his time. Let's see, he's got the steal. He'll go all the way. Jamo Aguilos. Napaganda pa yung uh, nung naiwan siya doon sa kanilang court. That layup was a little Jordan-esque right there. You see how he moved it around and finger rolled it in. Jugi Laude. And a great shot there from June Mark Silvares. So Vares has a nice touch from 15 to 18 feet. You see he shot that jumper like he's supposed to do it. JV Marcelino makes his move. Jumper from JV, that's an air ball. Rebound, Andy Santos, the basket jabs Bautista. Quick trigger, no. Yes, is gonna have to box out. He just gave up two offensive rebounds. Coach can't be too happy about that. Inside they go, Adi Santos, big to big passing there for uh, Zamboanga. And Kaluokan actually is uh, doing a great job defending the, the shaded lane. They switched back to a man here. They got it out of that zone. Uh, and yeah, they really had to address that. Now if they could just box out, they'd be in a better situation. Koga ahead to Lasco. Three on two break. Damian Lasco. Nice aggressive throws. move by Lasco there. You see, it could have been an offensive foul, but the defensive player wasn't set. And he took it right into his chest. Now he's got two free throws. And Damian Lasco already with 11 points in the ball game. You see there, Lasco, he's going to go straight to the basket. And uh, every time he touches the ball, what I like about him is he's looking to score. And he's looking to get to the front of the rim. He's not settling for jump shots. And Damon Lasco, one of those nice stories as well here in the MPBL, was a member of the first uh, edition ng uh, Kaluokan uh, Supremos. And uh, unti unti na yung uh, lumipat din yung mga kakampi niya. Uh, There's he's something not, about him. He, he, he's now taking you know, the mantle as the go-to guy of the team. Something about him that I really like, and I think it's the last part of his last name, Lasco. It's kind of like Velasco. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like. Marcelino. Mama Dale, JB on the attack. No, Laude with a rebound. Here comes Kalookan once again. Lasco. Lasco nice. with another basket. That's 15 points para kay, La para kay Damian Lasco. Nice finger roll right at the rim. Still staying aggressive. A whistle of foul on his get up. Lasco was actually one on four there, if you notice that. And uh, it didn't stop him one bit. He just jumped over everyone. There you go. The pass ahead from Koga. Lasco sees the rim only. He doesn't see any defenders. JC Marcelino all the way to the cup. Nice move by the lefty, Marcelino. He got 10 points, and look at that. Another steal from JC ahead to Adi Santos. I, I think this is where he's at his best. That was some serious speed. You notice he shot the layup on the on one side, and he got the steal on the other side. Laude will miss the three. Irvin Palencia. And you see Sambuanga, if they want to push the basketball. Because they do have uh, the talent there as Irvin Valencia off the nifty P. Galinga Adi Santos. Lead is up to 17. Nice pass there from Santos to find him for that layup. Minute remaining in the first half. 41 to 24, nothing score. Lasco couldn't get past the Gilos. Here's JC Marcelino, lost the handle. Turnover, Laude ngayon. Natapik, Irvin Palencia, ball will stay with uh, Kalookan. I'm really impressed with the speed of Marcelino, JC. 
I can't get over how he scored the layup on one side and then got the steal at the other side on the other free throw line. It's crazy. Grabby yung ano niya? Grabby yung you know, knows where the ball. This, this, this is where you nung, nung college now when I was you know, when I was covering uh, NCAA basketball during my uh, past life as a sports journalist. <laughs> Grabe, you know, they would blow out opponents uh, you know, because of that wanted press. They had C.J. Perez in that team, Mike Harry and Zuzu. And they had Topex Robinson. As coach, help. yes, absolutely. I was at Phoenix when uh, Topex and Coach Louis Alas were pulled over to uh, take over the Phoenix team. And, uh, and I was really, the staff, really excited. Not Just from watching the Lyceum team and how they developed, I was really excited to be with Coach Topex. And yeah. of course, you know, one of my mentors, uh, Coach Louis. On the line for two and, is and, uh, you know, when we talk about Coach Topex as well, you know, I think he, he's instilled his own brand of, he's established that culture as well. And that's the key word, uh, is culture. He's really good at establishing it and, and cultivating it and allowing players to develop. And here in the MPBL, very few teams have, you know, because of the, you know, constant you know, the changes in the lineup, management of the team, only a few teams can really establish that. Zamboanga has a chance with the score that they have now under Coach Vic Ikashana. Yeah, it's all about the coach. If the coach can uh, set the parameters and, and the goals, and just keep hammering hammering away at it every day. I'd like to see Inigo get get going here. He hasn't seemed to have caught a rhythm, so he's going to the free throw line for two free throws. If he sees the ball go through the net a couple of times, it could snap him right into place. And actually, Inigo played for Rizal previously. Dito's uh, actually played for the Golden Coolers a, a couple of seasons ago. 43 to 25, Mahating score. 18 point lead. 27 seconds remaining. In the first half. Inigo with another offensive rebound. Achi off the glass and in. There he goes, right on cue. Looks like Inigo's getting himself going. He made the first one, missed the second, and got the offensive rebound for the bank shot. Coach Vicky Cashano definitely not liking what happened in that sequence. And he asks for a timeout. Magbabalik on OK Bet MTBL 2022 regular season. A warm MTBL welcome to Congressman elect. Of the first district of Palawakan. Welcome to the MPBL, sir. Congressman uh, Oka Malapitan, staunch supporter of uh, the Palawakan Excellence Victory Liner, Azachi Inigo. Backs that one in off his own miss free throw. Achi is uh, putting his vertical leap on display there. Actually, I didn't know he could jump that high. Actually, there, there's been a couple of occasions na nakakwash an offensive rebound. Uh, medyo tumalun talaga siya at uh, pinakitaan tayo ng hops. It's very rare to see the shooter get the rebound on a free throw, and, and that's what he was able to do right there. And now he's on the bench. 27 to 43. Kaluokan down 16. Final possession of the half. Para si Sambuanga. Let's see if this Kaluokan press works. Kaluokan put on the 1 2 1 1 press right there. 14 seconds remaining in the half. Irvin Palencia. Mosqueda. Will wait. Six seconds remaining. Mosqueda to Iguilos. Iguilos fires. Pataka! Nice shot from the Gilos. I love to see a big man that can step out and shoot the perimeter jump shot. Kaluokan extended their defense there, but nonetheless, Jaymo Igilos finishing the half with a perimeter jumper. Eight points para sa kanya. And it's an 18 point lead, 45 to 27. Para sa Zamboanga family's brand, Sardines. Great first half. Pinakita ni JC Marcelino in his first game of the campaign and immediately making an impact. Drives to the basket, defensive plays, 
And this outside shooting, JC Marcelino doing it all. And he is with Mika Abisamis. Thank you, Sidel. Uh, JC, first game nyo dito sa MPBL, ano? Mukhang tama yung sinabi nila, coach, na basta magkasama kayo ni JP at talaga nagdo-dominate kayo sa court. Uh, kami naman ng kambal ko, ginagawa lang namin yung best na kami para sa team. Kaya siguro, maganda, lang, maganda yung lumalabas na resulta. Okay. Sigurado nga habol ang kalookan sa second half. Paano mo kaya mamaintain yung energy mo? Ayun, siguro i-maintain lang din namin yung defense namin, offense, para ma-maintain din namin hanggang sa ulit. Okay, maraming salamat and good luck sa second half. Halftime festivities when we return only here in the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Back at the Anara Sports Center here in Antipolo, I'm Mika Abisamis, and right now, I am with assistant coach Wilson Ang of Caloocan and Mr. Alvin Muno, team manager of Zamboanga. Sir, it's been a slow start for Caloocan sa first half. Ano? Paano kung kaya tayo makakabawi sa second half, lalo na anong plano nyo sa Marcelino Twins? Yeah, actually, yung uh, Marcelino Twins, masyadong mabilis, no? So, siguro, we need to make an adjustment for this, no? So, we try to check for it. And then, also, uh, batiin ko lang ang ating uh, in the house na sa first district na si uh, Kong Malapitan at saka yung ating mayor na si uh, Along Malapitan also. And then, also, do sa ating mga sponsor na katulad ni Victory Liner. Then also Boss Epay and Boss Felix and Boss Dennis Flores. Po. Okay, maraming salamat po, sir. Sir, first game ng uh, Zamboanga today. Ang ganda ng pinakita natin sa first half, lalo na yung Marcelino Twins. Ano pong masasabi nyo? Uh, yun nga, uh, during the off-season, uh, it's been two years din eh, since uh, bino, ano, nakapagbalik tayo dito sa liga. No? So talagang excited kami yung... Uh, during prior sa ano prior sa pagumpisa ng MPBL talagang atat yung team na makapagbalik muli kaya sumali kami sa mga ano sa mga tournaments ayun na nga luckily naka, nakakuha kami ng mga pieces na kailangan para at least ma-improve yung roster namin and yun na land namin yung wins na nakita naman natin ngayon yung performance nila na talagang napaka napakahusay at napakagalit Sir meron daw kayong mga gustong batiin uh, Binabati ko lang yung mga Kaibigan ko dyan sa Buanga, especialmente ko nila uh, mga bibientes kita suporta ko nila sa Buanga families, brands, sardines. O halaman, hunto-hunto kita di otra vez. So, espera ustedes. So, sabi kami, excited ustedes todo. So, manirahan kita. Maraming salamat po. Thank you and magbabalik ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Ang bawat bayan ay sumasaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa, luson bisayas in the night.
ay nagkakaisa Luson Visayas, Mindanao, Basketball na Ang bawat labay di naghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang pakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kukunan Forty-five to twenty-seven, the ating score here at halftime at the Nair Center in Antipolo. Some Bonga families ran sardines over the Kaloocan. Excellent victory liner in the first quarter. Some Bonga got off to a strong start. Jamo Egilos, newly acquired center, naglaro sa Batangas in the last few seasons, and this has been the story of the first half. Nick Milasco. Zamboanga getting out on a break and scoring easy points off fast breaks and off of steals and defensive stops. They're leaking out, as you can see here. They're always ahead of the break. Uh, Kaloka shot a lot of threes in the first quarter, and most of them clanged off the rim pretty hard, which is kind of like an outlet pass for Zamboanga to start the break for them. Damian Lasco did his best to keep Kaloka in the game. He had 15 points in the first half but he could not stop the onslaught, which was led by another newcomer, J.C. Marcelino. And J.C., of course, playing his first game para sa Kaloocan, had 10 points, two rebounds, and two assists to go with his two steals, spectacular steals as well. <laughs> and uh, you know, and this, at halftime, uh, tingnan natin itong score natin. Sambuanga shooting pretty well, Kaloocan. This, those turnovers really hurting them, and they could not stop Zamboanga from scoring inside the paint as well. Points in the paint is really big. Uh, Kalokan has to get tougher down low. And bench points, you see 20 points for Zamboanga. That just shows the depth of their team. And, you know, you expect this depth to come into play, especially down the road as the season progresses. Balance scoring dito for Zamboanga. As you take a look at Marcelino with 10, his twin, JV with 7, Jamo 8, and Irvin Palencia has 6. Damien Lasco naman, only player in double figures, pero next best score is Jomar Santos with 4, and Achi Inigo and Luce, you know, 3 points as si Achi Inigo. Luce Koga, expect more from him, especially in the second half. Lasco is going to need some support here. He's playing a really good game so far in this first half, 15 points, but the other guys have to step up. Just about ready for the second half here. At the Inares Center in Antipolo. Kasama din natin. Mika Abisamis at courtside. Zamboanga. Has uh, been to the playoffs of the MPBL in the last two seasons. Our commissioner's role, Commissioner Kenneth Garemdes, Head of Operations, Emer Oret, and of course our security head, Rudy Distrito, right there. Tom Kenneth is uh, on top of the 
top of things here in the United Sports uh, Center. Alam mo naman, uh, Nick, no, this is a tough task. Paikot, ikot tayo, no? And uh, we're traveling. Um, I think on Monday we will be in uh, Valenzuela on Tuesday. Uh, Papanga naman. That's one thing I like about the MBBL is the ikot, ikot. <laughs> Just <laughs> traveling around. Traveling. Uh, ingat sa viaje. Yeah. Yeah. So here comes the Tagalog for the second half. <laughs> so uh, Kaluokan will have the first crack for the second Third half. Quarter. Third quarter underway here. Kaluokan down by 18 in Sabuanga. Peña Redondo looking for a way through that's taken away by Palencia. Chito Jaime back to Palencia, making the adjustment and putting it in. Nice finish by Valencia there. One thing I like about him is he's so pesky on defense. He's everywhere. He's getting deflections. He's getting his hands on everything. And then he's able to finish the layup there. He gave it up early, got it back. And Jomar Santos knocks down his second three of the ball game. Seven points. Barakai Jomar leads still at 17. Tali on the attack. That might be what Jomar needed to get going again. He was aggressive in the first quarter, uh, but he only finished the half with four points. A nice finish by Peña Redondo. Some easy baskets here for Kaloocan to start the third as they chop the lead to 15. Kaloocan brought the intensity here. Uh, I'm really curious to know what the coach said at halftime. Here's Palencia. Lumapit. There's a hold. And the foul will go against Damian Lasco. Hawak on, on Damian Lasco on uh, Chito Jaime. It's a holding foul. Foul on number 24, Damian Lasco. Kalokan has picked it up. They're a little more aggressive here to start the second half. Let's see if they can get a stop. Valencia, Labas kay Tabi. Three ball, short. Rebound goes to Chris Domapic. Goes all the way up quickly. And Chris Domapic puts it in. Nice offensive rebound put back by Chris right there. It's another big thing that I like to see bigs do is, is make them their presence felt in the lane. Oh, plenty of contact there. Jomer Santos scores on that left-handed scoop, 49 to 34. So he's got nine points here. Jomar, he's, he's, he just scored five to start the second half. Nice to see him get going. Little mapping. Nahanap. Si Komia. Komia will take the three. Too strong. Rebound. Palencia. No good. And uh, Fuentes. Komia is the not shy about Posting taking that deep three. I think he shot it from that logo over there on the right wing. Here comes Jomar Santos. You see, he's a really physical player. Guys are bouncing off of him. He even hit the guy in the lip right there and still got the finish. Palencia. Umatake. Drop pass. Too deep for Comia. Ball goes back to Kaloka. Damian Lasco. Full head of Steve. Damian Lasco. And a strong finish. And uh, Kaloka off. To a bright start here in the third, 17 points for Damian Lasco. Damian, once he gets the ball in his left hand and he gets a full head of steam, there's almost nothing you can do to stop him other than foul and put him at the free throw line. Nice finish. Nice gather there from Damian. Look.
we're back inside Dainara Sports Arena. Our good friend Nikki Viola is uh, in attendance. This to be our courtside reporter here, of course. Uh, Palookan First District uh, Congressman Oka Malapitan is also here to support uh, the Palookan Excellence Victory Liner. Starting off well in the third. Bola na Sambuanga. Cyrus Sabi got the step. The kick out. Comia from the corner. Too strong. But Taxi Domer Santos. The rebound goes to Palencia. Comia na Abuelo. Comia puts it in. And Jomar Santos and Chris Dumapig getting into it. I really like this Palencia point guard. You see, he makes the right decision and the right read. He Nice chest pass there for the layup of Colombia for the end one. And the, the good thing there about that pass is that he, he, he knew what Colombia was going to do. Hindi niya na hinayaan mag dribble pa and, and you know to think about what he was going to do. Alam niya ganun ang gagalaw ni Komia. Uh, Nick, because it, you know, Komia, we've seen him a couple of plays. He's been you know, medyo a bit out of control. But that time, minimized the mistake of his teammate. Well, they call it KYP, know your personnel. Yeah. And uh, our point guard here, he, he really knows his teammates well. And he gets them the ball in a position where they're going to succeed. And that stops the bleeding for Zamboanga. 52 to 36, lead is up to 16. Here's Santos, has been aggressive in the third. And Jomar Santos will go to the line for two free throws. And one... Um, Little known fact about Jomar Santos is uh, he will take these two free throws. Uh, Nick is his uh, moniker, is his nickname. You would, would you be, his nickname is actually, it, it, it's co a contrast to his game. His oh, nickname really? is Tweety. His, his nickname is Tweety. Tweety. <laughs> Tweety, I like that. So Tweety Santos, uh, he hit his first free throw here. I thought it was going to be more along the lines of rumbling, tumbling, <laughs> round mound of rebound. I like how physical he plays. And he plays hard. Ten points for Domar Santos. Irvin Palencia, double team here. Domapig, binigay kay Comia. One dribble, attack is Comia. I like the swag from Jeff Comia. Five points all here in the third. And that all comes from Palencia again with the decision making. He really knows how to control the tempo. You see, he drew the double team trap way out, and he was able to find Comia for the layup. 54 to 37, Adi Santos. Here's Tapi, top of the key. They go to Comia. Comia on the move. Comia, tough shot. Comia Jump. seems to have all the moves. He did a Euro step a while ago. That was kind of sort of like a Pinoy step. I don't know if you're familiar yeah. with the Pinoy step. Let's get up. I can't like do it, that's for sure. Tabi, Binigeke Komia. It's not that upper body strength, Nick. That's one thing I tell players a lot, young players, is you know, you get your body looking nice. Sometimes you'll make a team just how you look. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Komia fires short. And uh, Crystal Mapping turns garbage into gold. 19 point lead for Zamboanga. Lasco fires. And that is over the top for Damian Lasco. So you see, uh, Comia just missed the three pointer on Zamboanga's side with the offensive rebound from Chris and the putback. Right here, he's in the right place at the right time. And uh, that's one thing that coaches notice as well is who has a knack for the ball. Yeah. And him and Adi Santos are probably one of the best offensive rebounders in the league. And they're, off, they're in the same team. Peña Redondo. Demopic missed the layup on the, on the side over here. Uh, he was on the left side, and he tried to finish it with his right hand. He's got to use his left hand on that one. Paolo. Oh. 16, Irvin Valencia, that's his second substitution. Balita ng tao dito, balik ang Marcelino Twins, JC and JV. For Cyrus Stockley, Jeff Kogai, Irvin Valencia. 
Uh, Irvin Palencia goes back to the bench as well. Chino Mosqueda is in the game. You see the depth of Zamboanga. When they take out Palencia, they come right at you with Marcelino. And two of them. Peña Redondo sinks the second. Cristiano Puerto comes in for Joseph Peña Redondo. Joseph Peña Redondo. He's replaced. Here's uh, Zamboanga. 56 to 38. Lamang sila dito. Oh, halfway through the third period. JC Marcelino on the move. Pinagay kay JV. JV spins away. And Achi Inigo is caught. You really see the patience of Zamboanga. They take their time, they get the right shot off, they're not forcing anything. Very disciplined team. Even if they have a wide open three, they step in and get a better shot. JV at the line. Seven points and three boards make that eight. Malakay JV Marcelino, 57 to 38. Tamang Sabuanga. Five minutes and ten seconds remaining here in the third. Binalik na si Ryuse Koga. And Andy Santos reaching in. Pito ng ating mga referee. I like to see players that contest passes like Santos did right there. Unfortunately, he picked up foul. Olga. Here's Puerto. Back out to Koga. Koga's three is good. I've been waiting for Koga to get going offensively. He finally got loose and hit a three there. Hopefully that gets him back on target. 16 points. Ang Lamang Samwanga. Four three remaining. JC Marcelino makes his move. JC attacks and draws the foul. Two free throws for JC Marcelino. You see JC with a nice little crossover move going to his left. That's his strong hand. On the line for two free throws is JC Marcelino. <laughs> Tweety Santos. I still can't get over that nickname, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. I, I wish I had a better moniker myself, but Tweety. I didn't know be. your moniker. <laughs> <laughs> back uh, in your I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so easy to call you Nick, though. So yeah. I, I think that that's why they that 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 stuck with you. 41 to 59 ang ating score. Damian Lasco got the step. Tough shot. Pasok pa rin para kay Damian Lasco. Tough shot right there. That could have also been an and one. He was able to float it up with his left hand. Mahari. JC. 4-3. Nope. Rebound. Adi Santos. No, he lost it. To Esguera. Here's Ruse Koga. Looking for Lasco. Lasco fires. Short. Rebound. JV Marcelino. Ahead to JC. Some contact underneath. And I'd like to see Lasco pump fake that, take it strong to the basket. He's already proven that he can finish and get to the, the rim whenever he wants to. He settled for a three-pointer on that one. Here's Bancoyan, whistle for the foul. Quick seal by Adi Santos. Two shots for Adi Santos. Bancoyan, whistle for the foul. Nasa penalty na. It's getting physical down there. I like it. For second game natin mamaya as Arangani Marlins. Okay bet. Oh, missed it totally. Madulas ba ang uh, bola o bintis lang talaga? <laughs> four points and four boards. Adi Santos. Second makes the adjustment. Switch. 60 to 43. Ang ating score. Eight. Third quarter. 3.42 remaining. Koga. Here's Bangkoyan. 
Trying to hand it off to Lasco, taken away by Marcelino. Not finished, Adi Santos right there, JC. They're asking for a <laughs> It looked like he, he, he jumped there and dribbled. John Mahari. Nilevasque JC has the fire. Couldn't get the roll. JB fighting for it. Nakwan ni Ruse Koga. Ruse Koga ahead to Puerto and uh, 20 seconds off the shot. Broken up. As we go to Mika Besaros. Thanks, Adolf. Coach Rene Baina thinks the boys are starstruck. Clearly, they are intimidated despite having good defense plans. He said they are using this game as practice for better block shots, closeouts, and well, he hopes for someone to fire up. Adolf, Coach Nick. Thank you, Mika. As uh, Damian Lasco, this is not a practice game for him. No, he's not starstruck one bit, Lasco. <laughs> 21, he's been on a tear for Kalookan, and it's been a bright spot for see, Coach. He, uh, he settled for a three a couple of possessions ago, and he missed it badly. Right here, that's his strength. Get to the basket, get the ball up on the backboard, and finish. And a great point there by Coach uh, Rene. You know, in all his years in Philippine basketball, he knows when his team is intimidated or not. Yeah, and he's not afraid to uh, put it out there. Yeah. It's time to man up. And he completes the three-point play. Damian Lasco, 22 points. 22 of the 46 ng Kalookan. How about that? If they can cut it down to a single-digit lead, uh, you know, I think they have a good chance. They just have to stay consistent with their defense here. Mahari to JC Marcelino, the corner. Swings it over to Chino Mosqueda. Mosqueda's runner won't work. Rebound, Bancoyan. Puerto tomatakbo na. Here's Puerto. Iniwan kay Bancoyan. Drew the foul on Mahari. He'll go to the line for two foul shots. I like to see here what Bancoyan did. Uh, two possessions ago, he got the ball at the top of the key, and he didn't even look at the basket. So he wasn't a threat. This time, when he got it into the paint, he went straight to the rim. Ramon Rabayo returns in place of John Mahari. Mangkoyan takes the first. Now, for all of Sambuanga's explosions, wave after wave of assault uh, offensively, Kaloakans is still in the game. Still in the game. 13 points. That's very doable. They can they can make that up in the next two minutes and 30 seconds. In this guy, a free throw. Ni Mangkoyan rebound. Sambuanga here's Chino Mosqueda. Adi Santos. On Nabayo on the floor now for Zamboanga. Nabayo gives it up to JV Marcelino. JV makes his move, goes baseline, drops it off to Adi Santos. Top shot. Adi Santos puts it in 62 to 47 as uh, Adi hikes his tally to seven points. Ooh, that was almost a back court. Puerto. I mean, I like the hustle. I like the hustle. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, if you're Puerto, naunahan mo na si ano eh, si JC Marcelino, but don't ever think, don't you ever think, bro, let's take a look at the nice shot from, don't you ever think, na mawawala siya sa likod mo. Right. You see the deflection there. Well, these guys are really fast. They're going to come up from behind any time. Marcelino puts the ball on the deck, lost it, three on one break. Koga. Three pointer, no. Rebound inside. Nice pull up from Koga there. I thought he might have been able to get more off the three on one advantage they had. But at least they got the rebound and, and they're going to the free throw line. I want to see who's going to help Lasco on this Kalo Kante. Jamo Aguilos comes in for Adi Santos. Jamo Aguilos inserted back into the ball game. The final 135 of the third year's. Uh, Hey, Mark Matias. First free throw is good for Matias. I wonder if he's related to Ronnie Matias. I think Baka. Because uh, Arden Siguro. We'll find out. We'll find out. Ronnie is one of those tough players that uh, causes people a lot of problems. One for two on that trip para kay uh, Ray Mark Matias. 62 to 48. Ang ating score. Here's Mabayo. 
Edilos. Binigay kay JV Marcelino. Pulls up for three. Too strong. Rebound goes to Raymark Matias. Ahead to Koga. Koga back to Matias. Umatake. Jamo Igilos with a block. And ball will stay with uh, Kaloocan. Matias went for the Kili Kili there. Did you see that? Yeah, but uh, that's the old Marlu Aquino special. Pero huling huli ni ano. Huling huli ni Jamo Igilos. Fresh 14 para sa Kaloocan. Let's see what they come up with here. This inbound. Oh, Turnover. JC Marcelino head to Palencia. To JV. JV will finish. And you see. Three, two passes. Yeah. Well, you see who they have in the game. The Marcelino oh. twins. And Palencia. And back the other way. Raymark Matias. So I'm looking at Zambonga's lineup right now, and, and it looks like they're about to start flying up and down the court. Nice little drop step here for the end one. I think he tweaked his ankle on the way down, though. On the line for the bonus free throw is Raymark Matias. Raymark Matias in pain. But he's got a bonus free throw to go with that uh, strong move inside. Let's see if Matias can be the one that's going to help out Lasco on this Kaloka team. Five points for Raymark Matias, 64 to 51. You know how the Golden State Warriors have the death lineup? Yeah. Bahay it's like Zamboanga's trying to do that right here with these, these uh, guards they have in the game. It's Jamo Iguilos. JC Marcelino finds a gap in the D. Acrobatic shot. JC Marcelino with a strong finish. 66 to 51. Here he comes again. It's JB Marcelino. Too much. So JC finished on the left side, and then his twin brother comes and finishes on the right side. Another steal here. Kaloocan out of control to finish the third. Valencia waits. I love the patience of Valencia. You see, he, a lot of players would have forced up a layup there. He pulled it out. He got a better shot. In this address, Imon Abayo. That's not his shot. Kaloocan was knocking on the door. But the Marcelino twins again, shutting it down. Damian Lasco. Strong third quarter performance. Seven of his 22 coming here after the break. Nine of 12 shooting as well, but that's not enough. 17 points ang kalamangan dito ng Sambuanga as we head into the fourth. Back inside the Inari Center in Antipolo. Namang po ang uh, Zambanga Family's Grand Sardine, 68 to 51. Who's going to be the Kala Okan player that's going to help out Lasco? He's got 22 points already. Just not too much support for him. Fourth quarter. Irvin Palencia, 
And Masama niya, Simon Novayo. Take a look at the quarter scoring. Uh, 24 to 11 in the first, 21, 16 in the third. And second and third quarter, 23 to 24. Kaloocan actually won the quarter, Nick, as uh, Achi Inigo. Achi Inigo! Lays it nice in. Finish. Nice finish there by Achi. Here's Mon Navayo. Strong move once again. And everything has been in the paint para dito sa Zamboanga. And that just shows the discipline of their team. They're a very well-coached team by Coach Vic here. Uh, they don't settle for bad shots. They're patient, and they pound it inside. Tweety Santos committing the offensive foul. They get former teammates at Tondalawa getting reacquainted. <laughs> If your former teammates like that, you know each other's game. You know exactly how to get at each other. You see, he knew he was going to go straight through him, and he sacrificed his body for the offensive foul. With Mabayo, that's his specialty. Nick, that's his specialty. If you're seeing him for the first time, yan talaga yung kanyang game. He's got the body for it. Jaws Bautista joining the scoring. And the coach Rene Baina. Ayon niyang uh, mawala sa mga kamay nila itong uh, momentum. But nonetheless, wala na. You see Mabayo there. He took the charge on one side, then he set a nice screen on the offensive side to get this layup. Refusing to. Uh, he almost took a charge on the screen. Yeah. Yes, Jaws Bautista banks it in. 72 to 53, Zamboanga in total command. Inside the United Center in Antipolo, so Trainee Glenn Gakal, our uh, part of our legal team in the MPBL, Miss uh, Nikki Viola, of course, Camille, part of our finance staff. So the dami pa yan dito, mamaya sa for our second game, especially Sarangani Marlins, OK Bet, and uh, Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers. It's a 19-point lead for Zamboanga. Eight and a half minutes remaining in this wall game. But Saksi Jomar Santos is whistled for a travel. You see, there goes Mabayo again. He's out there making plays. Uh, he's de deflecting the ball left and right. He's everywhere. Forced to turnover. Irving Palencia. Nagbababa ng bola. Palencia. Bautista stepped on the line. I don't think Bautista was prepared to take that pass. That's one of the rare lapses of Palencia right there that I've seen this game. But I am noticing that Palencia is calling out the plays of Kaloka. Very smart player right there. Tanya Redondo had a reach for it. Palencia is away. Palencia with another deuce. Valencia caused the initial pressure, which forced a bad pass, and he was able to leak out for a layup. Santos, air ball. And the goal, ball goes back to Zamboanga. Every time Kalokan made a, a run and, and got it close to a 10-point lead, uh, Zamboanga just does something special and expands it real quick. And, and in early timeout, ni uh, coach Rene, no, was meant to you know, stem the tide again because it was getting out of hand. Just when it looked like they were knocking the door, and biglang uh, bumulusok na naman ang Zamboanga. Well, the depth of Zamboanga as well. When they sub through, they don't lose anything. Yeah, that's true. Bomia 
Binigay kay Mabayo. Mabayo, lumapit. Mabayo could not bank it in. Jemo inside, too strong. Mabayo fights. Isa lang yung bola. Kailangan silang bigyan tatlo. There, there's Mabayo again. He's slowly becoming my favorite player in this game. Always in the right place at the right time. Getting his hands on the ball. Unfortunately, they lost that jump ball. 21 point lead. Turnovers have been the story for Kaloocan. 26 against Zamboanga's 15. Points off turnovers, 29 to 12. Another turnover. 27. Komia. Almost lost it. Now recover ni Japs. Balik kay Komia. Plenty of time in the shot clock. They'll wait for Palencia. Here's Irvin Palencia. No good on the jumper. Even though he missed that jump shot, he, he just shows the patience. They waited, they got a decent shot. They didn't force up anything. No, Achi Inigo. Achi Inigo there with the, the archery. You see, he pulled the arrow after that three. Nice to see him hit one. That's uh, his favorite celebration. 74 to 56. I think score, Komia. Got the step. Komia is away. He got hit in the jaw there and was still able to finish. He's got that big, strong body. You see here, jab step, attack to the left, elevate, and he finishes with the right. That's a couple of power dribbles. <laughs> Might be in yung uh, attack ni uh, Jeff Komia. Malaking Brasso. Yeah. Is that right? Tama. <laughs> So the lead is at 21 points. Justin Padua lost it to Komia. Here's Komia trying to start the break. Now Pigida and Damian Lasco. Blocking foul on number 24, Damian Lasco is third. Three on Kalookan. Three team fouls on Kalookan here in the fourth. Valencia is really doing a great job of setting the table, setting the play and getting them into a good flow on offense. Malencia, Labas kay Japs. Too strong on the three. Last touch on Jeff Komia. Ball goes to Zamboanga, uh, to Kaloakan rather. Zamboanga, they really do a good job of crashing the offensive boards. Even though they didn't get that rebound, they still got their hands on it. Lasco, tough shot. Lasco. Tough shot for Lasco there. He's used to going to his left. That time he attacked to his right and was still able to finish. 24 points for Damian Lasco. 77 to 58. Komia, down the middle. Mintis, a kanya short stab. And Palencia gets it back to Komia, in and out. Palencia is just everywhere. Here's Nasco. Umatake. Damian Lasco off the glass and in. Lasco. Points. When, when, he, put, game. When, he, when he sees a lane, there's almost nothing you can do to stop him. Having a career game as Jumps Bautista fires. Justin Pato collects the rebound. BKK Koga. Halfway through this fourth period. Kaloka down 17. Koga fires. Koga misses. And a slight nudge from Palencia. On Inigo. Little nudge there. No foul called. Lasco has 26 points. So far, just not enough support for him. Uh, 26 of the 60. As uh, JC and JV Marcelino are back in the game together with Chino Mosqueda. And uh, Chito Jaime is, as well is in the game. You see a big difference in the defense of Kalaoka compared to Zamboanga. Zamboanga will pick you up full court. Kaloka, they sat back as they waited for them to bring the ball up. Not much pressure given. 
Inside they go. Igilos lost the handle. Ball will stay with Zamboanga. 3.7 seconds, seconds to shoot. in the shot clock. Marcelino to Marcelino. In and out on the three. Offensive Chico rebound. Chito Jaime with a stick back. 79 to 60. Very well coached team here. Zamboanga. They're getting all the offensive rebounds. Uh, they're, they're playing great defense. And Chito Jaime with another rebound. JC is away to JB in the alley -oop. Wow. I thought he was going to dunk that one. Well, well, that's good. That's good. twin to twin right there for the alley-oop layup. And he caught it a little off balance, was still able to finish it. What a play, the eye contact and the lob and the finish. And he finished that with his left hand as well. He's right-handed. Yeah. That was kind of like Gary Payton to Sean Kemp right there, except it wasn't a dunk. <laughs> it's the mini version. We'll be right back, 81 to 60, Lomangan Zamboanga. JB Marcelino, 14 points, five rebounds, two assists tonight. Both the Marcelino twins have 14 points. And that's off the bench. Yeah. 81 to 60. Bola na kalookan. Damien Lasco has had a fine game and it almost con continues with that uh, shot right there. He's approaching 30 points already. Let's see if he can knock, the, knock these two down. Uh, he's just so strong going to his left hand. And what I like about him is the efficiency as well. He's just missed three shots, Nick. Right, and uh, he's in great shape. You see, he's not showing any fatigue here. He can take contact and still finish. Uh, as long as he doesn't settle for three-pointers and keeps getting to the basket. I think if you're Coach Rene, this is one of your takeaways, you know, positive takeaways from the game. Yeah, he's just going to have to find out who's going to step up and support Lasco. He's going to have to have some support, and, and somebody else has to contribute. And they double JV Marcelino, nakatawid si Iguilos. JC on attack mode, offensive foul. Ooh. Yeah, he, he used his right hand to ward off the defender there. I'm not a big fan of that call, but it is the right call. You'll see he jumps, going to his left, his right hand's going to extend out. Uh, yeah. Offensive foul there. Wait, you kind of come in here. JC Marcelino could not believe the call. There's Bancoya, Lasco. To Inigo, Koga from the corner. Pasangan, who say Koga? Nice to see Koga hit one there. I'm also looking for Pankoyan to get more involved. I think he's, he's got the ability to contribute more. Marcelino to Jaime, extra pass. Iguilos off balance. And in. Kalokan is putting on this full court press. Sometimes when you press and you don't do it the right way, you give up layups. And that's what's happening right now. 10 points for Jai Jemo Aguilos Koga. One Rusey, more. Koga, back to back three for Jai Ruse Koga. He's got nine points in the game. Koga's heating up. Maybe uh, too little, too late. Under three minutes remaining. So Buanga with possession, holding a 17-point lead. 
JC Marcelino attacks the runner from JC. He made sure to keep that right hand in and not get an offensive foul on that one. Nice finish from JC. 16 points for JC turnover. Ganike Achi Inigo, two and a half minutes remaining. Here comes a whole new set of players here. I'm impressed with the depth of Zamboanga. When they sub through, there's no drop off at all. Intensity sometimes picks up even. Yeah. Especially the second unit with the Marcelino twins. Choi Ignacio is in the game. Du Lacas de Santos is seeing action for the first time. Koga has hit back to back three pointers. Let's see if he gets a heat check in here. See Koga. In the other side, they go Achi Inigo in and out. Tapek na po taki Esquera. Too strong on the shot, Bangkoyan. Out to Koga. Koga for three. No good. Final two minutes ng ating laro. Puerto. I like how Bangkoyan is getting in there for these offensive rebounds. The backcourt violation. Oh, I thought he was pushed. Substitution. Chris comes in for Jamo Ekilos. he's an energy player there. I, I want to see him contribute more. He can crash the offensive boards and make things happen. 85 to 66. Minute 45 remaining. Here's Lacas de Santos. To wiggle free. Now, Obusa ng oras. They do Lacas de Santos. A little over dribbling there. Nice moves, but he ran out of time. And you say Koga. Uh, by ng bola for Kaloocan. Here's Koga. Koga will fire, partially blocked by uh, Chito Jaime, but Achi Inigo gets the ball back. Nice hands by Achi with the floater. 85 to 68, Tabi gets trapped. Raste Santos, Dumapig, Jaime will fire the three. Pasoga. Nice shot by Chito Jaime in the corner three. It's one of my favorite shots there. When you get older, that's what you look for. Absolutely, as Puerto in this uh, drive. Here's Choi Ignacio. In the game, Tabi. Oh, that's poor pass from uh, Tabi. Inigo. Straight away three. Bancoyan saves it only to Ignacio. Bancoyan, he's really going after every loose ball. Now, Choi Ignacio knocks down the three. Pancompian Salak. Yeah, he, he has a really nice stroke. Uh, no hesitation right there on that. 30 seconds remaining in the ball game. All over. But the shouting here. Ignacio. No good on the three. Dumapig. No ball by the referee. <laughs> and another turnover. I'm going to keep a close eye on this Kalokan team. I like Bankoyan. I think he's got a future. If he can just start contributing a little more, he's, he's got a nice knack for the ball, nice motor for the offensive rebounds. I, th I, I think they're, st they're still feeling each other out. That's the Kalookan team. You know, and uh, they'll get better as the tournament progresses. Tabi will dribble out the clock. And Zamboanga family's brand sardines. They're off to a winning start. It's uh, OK Bet MPBL 2022 regular season. La Manga with an explosive performance, putting up 91 points on the board. They beat Kalooka 91 to 70. And uh, if we're wondering what style 
of play itong uh, Sambuanga ipapakita then uh, you're seeing glimpses you saw glimpses of that in this game they, they, they play hard defense they get out in transition and they score in bunches. 91 to 17, at the final score. Your thoughts on that, Nick? I'm very impressed with this Zambanga team. Well coached by, by Coach Vic. The Marcelino twins are just everywhere. You see right there, he can hit the three. He can finish at the lane. He's got great elevation. And Palencia, uh, really impressed with the IQ level of Palencia. You see there, twin to twin for the alley layup. But Valencia, he really sets the table for them, keeps them under a really good tempo, and gives them the right shots. And it, it seems like Coach Vic Icasiano has sort of figured out this rotation here. And he's trying out combinations, but you know, the best one was when JC Marcelino was on the floor, and he is our best player with Nika Abisan. Thank you, Mr. Sedel. Uh, JC, mula umpisa kayo lang ng kambal mo ang nagpakita talaga sa amin ng mga kaya nyo gawin dito sa MPBL. Ayun nga, sinabi ko nga nung first up, ano, ginawa lang namin magkambal yung best namin para matulungan namin yung team namin na may panalo. Gusto ko lang malaman, paano ba kayo magsiselebrate mamaya magkapatid? Siguro, hindi muna. Kasi may next game pa kami sa Tuesday. Practice pa rin kami bukas or hanggang lunes. Tapos laro uli kami ng Tuesday. Siguro okay. pag ano na, pag champion ka na, doon ka na mag-celebrate. Diba? Meron na ka daw gusto mga batiyan? Uh, binabati ko lahat ng Tagawlong Gapo, mga boss ko. Hindi ko na kayo isa-isain. Tapos, eto si Ma'am Anita Kau, boss Tipi Kau, Doc John Kau, management staff, at lahat ng supports ng San Buhanga, family sardines, tsaka sa mga coaches, tsaka yung pa family ko na nanood dito, tsaka yung girlfriend ko na sa USC Kaila Dominguez. Thank you. Maraming salamat and congratulations. Si Del, Coach Nick? Maraming salamat, Amika Abesamis. And congratulations para kaya JC Marcelino. An impressive debut for the Zambanga family's brand sardines as they bring down the Kalookan Excellence victory liner. Up next, it's the Sarangani Marlins OK Bet taking on the Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers. That's our main game here at the United Center Antipolo. And uh, Sabuanga picking up their first win of the season. And uh, abangan nyo naman ang Sarangani and uh, Lapad Sarizal in our next game. Our partner, Nick Velasco, courtside reporter, Mika Abisamis, uh, will be right back here in uh, Antipolo. Sa kanya-kanyang kubo na 